do you see it? Can you feel it? Do you breathe it? Can you find it? Go and find it. right eating sleeping watching TV that's good I'm I, I'm not mad at that I think I really like Miami like it has Uganda vibes to it it's humid it's green it's freaking gorgeous I love it here Zuri do you like Miami she wants to see uncle uh, her dad's brother who lives here with his wife so we're gonna do that probably today actually <laughs> okay. it is it's seawater that's why it's salty Here's your big moment. Here's your big moment. Come here. No, to me, bud. Me. He's like, wow. precisely what the doctor ordered and oh my gosh listen if you happen to be divorced with children please do your absolute best in life like make it your mission in life to make sure that your relationship with your children's father is healthy and it is well like this is your life's mission do that because it's such a gift for the children it's such a beautiful thing to do also for yourself like there is ease and there is calm and uh, such you're giving your kids like a beautiful gift from a difficult situation does that make sense you know what since Zuri's gonna be on the phone with her brother for a long time because this is they spoke on the phone for a long time yesterday and oh, let's just talk about that for a little bit uh, because <sighs> listen I don't have all the answers for everything. We know this, it's a fact of life and that's okay. But if I could share anything on this channel with you, hopefully many more other things, right? But in this particular video, it's the fact that when you are able to forgive, firstly yourself and then your ex-spouse, right? This is when you have children together because I don't know the other experience when you don't have kids together, I only know this one. So when you're able to lead from that place of like, let's forgive one another for whatever it is that's happened between the two of us. And then once we've passed the place, you know, and gone through that valley of forgiveness together, let's let go and love these children and make the best decisions that we possibly can make for the kids, you know? Because the good decisions that we're making for the children 
I feel personally that I'm benefiting from those good decisions. Just, you know how good it feels when your nervous system is calm? Just calm, you know, like, and let's backtrack for a little bit because what I've learned is the fact that I've had to be a better communicator than even when I was married, now that I'm divorced, because we have children, right? Because we have children. Because maybe when you don't have children, when you go your separate ways, it's like, bye. I don't know, maybe some people stay friends. I have no idea. But for our circumstance, we have two children between the two of us, and we've had to communicate better. We've had to be kinder towards one another. We've had to give the other person a benefit of the doubt. Is that how you say it? Like, give each other some grace, you know, to realize that people are gonna make mistakes and that's okay. Also understanding that you're not inside each other's household so you don't quite fully know what's going on in the various or the individual households. So for example, if I'm stressed out that week and I'm just a little bit, <clears throat> my children's father doesn't necessarily know the details of that. He doesn't necessarily know that, okay, she's stressed out this week, right? So because of him not knowing and and maybe my communication is not a top-notch maybe I'm not like the friendliest person on the phone or whatnot when we're communicating about the kids but he gives me the benefit of the doubt he he gives me that grace of understanding that way she's human and so then I have the opportunity to give him the same level of grace so this is what I mean when I say when you are divorced with children, you have to be better parenting partners than when he was in the household, than when you were parenting the children under the same household at the same time. You know what I mean? Because there's so much logistic, there's so much, there's so many things that could go like lost in translation too. So you really just have to be as much as you can, uh, an open book towards one another, especially because, oh, jeez. Louise! Stop the chit chat! Okay, what's up? Your mother wants to talk to you. Hey, baby boy. Why'd you give me the fright? How are you, my munchkin? I was meant to just be washing my face and then I got into this whole monologue. Well, Uriah is with his dad right now and they are hunting. It's funny when we share pictures with everyone because their experience is like, yeah, they're yeah they're roughing it i mean not really they're in a trailer and whatnot but it's such a different experience to what we're having <laughs> well, well to each his own as they say um just to end this so that usury and i can have a little snack before we go to bed there is a lot of communication. Just be open for it and also be open to just kind of set your ego aside. Everyone needs to set their ego aside. It's probably the most important thing I think I did for myself is to be like, oh, I see my ego. It's going to go ahead and sit on this bench right here because I don't have time to have an ego right now because my mission in life is to be the best mom that I possibly can be, and that is number one. Uh, they speak a lot of Spanish here in Miami, so let's say that's numero uno, okay? That is my numero uno. And with that, I'll also add on the fact that it's really important to be supportive when your spouse moves on. It's in fact, it's imperative because that individual is going to be in your children's lives. You know, when we came to uh, Miami, Zuri, like, I, I, I don't even, I don't know how to explain this in better terms, but I don't know if I would know how to properly be the mom that I am if it wasn't for the support of my children's father's wife does that make sense my ex-spouse's wife that's how you say it right simple thing like this the day before we came to miami it was just so many logistics right because uriah and his dad were off hunting and then zuri and i were going our way and i had work that day there was just like a lot going on the day before zuri and i flew out and 
my children's stepmom was just so highly supportive and helpful to a point where she was the one who packed Zuri stuff with her and got her all ready, you know what I mean? And then the next morning, she's the one that took us both to the airport. And it, it might sound like a little thing to some, but I don't think that it is a little thing. I think it's actually quite a big thing. And I think it's, it's, it, it really says a lot about putting egos aside and just making things about the children. What are we doing for the kids? What is best for the kids, right? Because if you took the children aside, you could make whatever decisions for yourself and just be like, well, you, mm, 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 mm. no, like, I don't think drama is necessary and we need to talk about this drama thing because a lot of times, hear me out, we as human beings can get addicted to drama. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you create so much drama in life and then when things are chill, you're like, where is the vroom, vroom. where's the drama where's the fight where's the why like you've got to give in at some point and be like why are we fighting for who for what for why i'm unhappy i'm making you unhappy you're unhappy making me unhappy why are we fighting why for who like who's winning what because everyone is losing so when you are fighting that's really what i think is happening everyone is losing why do you want that you probably don't want that, but you're so caught up in your own drama, in your own story that you create in the drama of your own, you know, like you, it's good. It's either my way or no way. I, the only way to raise kids is this way. The only way to do this is this way. It just doesn't work. Kids, you're also going to have disagreements, right, on how to parent your children, even if you're getting along in your co-parenting relationship. And again, you have to show each other a little bit more grace in those moments because those moments are going to occur. And then again, you have to agree with the fact that sometimes you're going to disagree. Sometimes you're going to disagree and it's okay. And I think that when you see each other as a family, no matter what, then you're going to know the importance or you're going to rather remember the importance of working together. Do you know what I mean? Because no matter what, you are family. No matter what, you cannot get rid of one another. You are family. You may not have, you know, the ring on your finger, but you will always be family and you have to work through things together as family. And as a, a spouse moves on and they get married, they're bringing someone into the fold of the family, you know? So you have to find a way to work together with that person. And then when you get with your spouse and you bring them in, they're coming into this family. And so we all have to work together in this unit because you chose to have children together. And that is an eternal commitment, my friend. It is a commitment that just doesn't end. It's a commitment that continues. It's a commitment that is so beautiful. So even when something difficult has occurred, again, such as divorce, no matter how difficult your divorce was, and you can watch on my channel and you'll find out that I didn't have a very easy divorce, right? But I'm very proud of the people whom we've become post. I know that just generally children of the world deserve better and wouldn't it be wonderful, right? If all children could be raised in a two-parent household where the parents are married or together, uh, committed, and are able to work through their differences and you know raise them up in this unit, hallelujah, wouldn't that be great? But as humans, we make mistakes and we make decisions that are not at the best interest of our family at that particular time, right? I'll, I'll point the finger here first, but even though you cannot turn, you know, the hands of time and go back, there is something that you can do. And that something is to be a better person today than you were yesterday. Oh, that sounds very cheesy. But you know what I mean? You can just do better. And by doing that, you'll find that you're not only gifting yourself with peace, but you're gifting your children with the best that can come out of a not so great situation, okay? All right, I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry. <laughs>